name is Casper Johansson and I'm your personal YouTube philosopher. This video is about dinosaurs and philosophy, but what do dinosaurs have to do with the business of doing philosophy? Well, if dinosaurs existed millions of years before us, then our philosophies has to deal with the fact, that fact, that an evolution on planet Earth has taken place long before there even was a term called philosophy, or people who coined a term like that of philosophy. Let me just give you a quick survey of the evolution of animals here on planet Earth. It started with the Cambrian explosion of life in the primeval sea about 540 million years ago. In this sea, there was a development of a more and more complex forms of life, from single-celled organism to the so-called invertebrate life forms. Over the geological periods of Cambrian and Ordovician, there was a development of vertebrates life forms like that of the first fish. These fish are the first vertebrates, that is organisms with an encapsulated bone structure, just like us humans. In the Devonian age, around 460 million years ago to 359 million years ago, the amphibious amphibians climbs up to land. After that, the amphibians slowly develop into reptiles and proto-mammals, which was a kind of a hybrid between reptiles and mammals. For a period, the weird proto-mammals like this ferrocephalian ruled the earth, but they died out at a huge massive extinction event at the end of the Permian age. Reptiles then evolved over time to the dinosaurs, and the age of dinosaurs stretches some 170 million years and spans three geological periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. Only at the KT mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs became extinct. Subsequently, the mammalian development took off. The mammals had evolved side by side with dinosaurs, but they hid in the ground and in caves and were very small in size. Then comes a 60 million years of evolution of mammals and birds. Birds are now considered as a descendant of dinosaurs. Look here at the skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus rex, T-Rex. It actually looks just like a chicken's, especially if I remove the head. Take a look. You see, now we have the T-Rex without its head. You can see more that it looks like a bird. Watch, I take off uh, T-Rex's small and ridiculous arms. Look, now you really can see that T-Rex is just like a big bird. Imagine this is his tail, right? A chicken. The first upright apes came about 3 million years ago and evolved into Homo sapiens. The upright man. Us. Now we can start doing philosophy on the basis of evolution. If you don't believe in evolution, you can always try creationism, which believed that the dinosaurs lived alongside humans some 6,000 years ago and died out because Noah did not put them in the ark. Well, I say 
Good luck with that. However, if you will philosophically come to terms with the fact that an evolution took place on Earth, you are in for some fun with doing philosophy. Many philosophers, unfortunately, do not take evolution and dinosaurs seriously enough. Remember, they occupied the Earth for some 170 million years compared to man's meagerly short time on this Earth. Why are we humans more important? Why is prehistory much more longer than the history of man? The burden is on the philosopher to explain why man is so more important than all the animals that lived before us. Like the dinosaur. Can you give a good reason what man has ever done that was better in the long run? Have man made a better earth than the dinosaurs? Will man also die out and evolve into something else? If you think that dinosaurs died out for a specific reason, like that of, uh, like say that man was therefore man could take over and become the true ruler of earth which was meant to be, then philosophers will say that you believe in determination. Determination means that you think that things happen because of some predestined or planned design. This is not far from believing in God's plan for the outcome of it all. Some philosophers and philosophies will always explain the fact that dinosaurs live, that these dinosaurs were not important that important in the long run and died out so that something better like man could come along. However, there are other philosophies which don't think that deterministic and have no problems with the idea of evolution and that that evolution is not finished. The best philosophy to explain why dinosaurs live is actually something called process philosophy. But I will tell you more about process philosophy in another video. But for now, it is important to remember that philosophy was not present at the beginning of evolution, but it is a product of a temporal procedural development. Evolution is an example of a cause coherent relational connection between past present and future. If you're doing philosophy, you must always have in the back of your head, hey, there were dinosaurs once here on Earth. They were important on Earth for millions of millions of years. So my philosophy better come to the terms with that and ask the question, why do humans matter more than dinosaurs, animals? Or was the dinosaurs equally important as humans in their time and that the idea of life, no matter in what form it is, is what is important in the long run. So why do you think dinosaurs died out thinking from a philosophically viewpoint?